What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. I want to shout out to my homie, Kofi, from Kofi's Universe. Y'all make sure to subscribe to his channel and support everything he got going on because he be dropping that knowledge. Yeah! YouTube salute. DJ Quick recalls Beyonce offering him water, fruit, and all kind of other stuff. If you know my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit the subscribe button. Click the bell icon to be, not excuse me, to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So, DJ Quick. He shared his story while visiting the All the Smoke podcast. Make sure y'all sub to them. It was 20 years ago when Quick collaborated with Jay Z for his Black album project that came out in 2003, and that was supposed to be his retirement album. <laughs> he called it an amazing out of body experience to be in close quarters with the couple. It's like, wow, you really made it. You're in the studio. Beyonce's offering you. MF water, fruit, and shit, and just chilling, chilling like a villain on top of the ceiling. That session was just like you could imagine it would be. Jay is quiet. He ain't the kind of dude to walk around the studio writing and thinking about something. He sit there and just let the music get in and whatnot. Young Guru, Guru, turn me up, <laughs> was at the controls, he added, while I'm on the beat. Beyonce is over there chilling. Cool as shit. So humble. Sweetheart, right? Jay would just be sitting there humming, making these little sounds and shit. And he just cocked his hat to the side. And it's like, I right, goo, I'm ready. When he cocked his hat, he go in there and just start nailing that shit. I ain't see this motherfucker right. Not one there, Rick. Hove and Bay have been busy, if not with their crafts, then in business. Fans are preparing for what is slated to be the most significant world tour in the last few years as Beyonce is preparing to embark on her Renaissance travels. All right, we all know about that, yada, yada, yada. But um, shout out to DJ Quick for sharing that, you know, that memory he had with Jay-Z. There was a lot of producers on that album that year. You know, you had... DJ Quick, of course you had Just Blaze, you had Pharrell, you had Kanye West, you know, Jay-Z, he did his thing, he did his thing, whatever, but um, get DJ Quick on that album, that was, that was nice, and plus that speaks to um his respect for DJ Quick, because remember, DJ Quick, man, he has done so many great things in hip-hop, like, he's done work for the All Eyes on Me, he mixed it, he was engineer mixed the album whatever um um he worked on he worked on good kid mad city he did the um in the club drums do 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 that sound like some dj quick shit he did shit for mossberg amg like dj quick is a known legend man he did shit for eric sermon like for real people forget man quick that's a legend right there dude to me, I feel like he's the best producer in West Coast history. Arguing me, fight me. I'm serious. Like, man, no, nah, he gets way more respect to me because he makes all his shit. All that's all him. Like Drake had he had a um a team of producers when he was working on the chronic in 2001. Daz did a lot of tracks for the chronic, the dog food, um, doggy style. A lot of people don't understand that and realize that. DJ Quick, that's all him. He didn't have nobody come and help him with nothing. So to me, DJ Quick is the best West Coast producer of all time. That's how I feel. That's my opinion. And um, yeah. Daisy Dougies. Get quick and say, Quick, I need you. Give me something. Gave him that dope ass beat. Daisy delivered. Also comments below. Hope smash. Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to that channel, I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Till next time, salute.